This is Lewis Structures for Molecules, Part 3. And I will do one more molecule, and then I'll show you the rules that I've been using all along. And let's see if you can get it all together. Before we start, I've drawn the molecule. This is CH4. Here it is, right here. I'd like you to take that CH4 and put it together. The carbon and the four hydrogens. Joining hydrogens to carbon and to get your Lewis structure started. So please turn off this recording right now and draw that. Hopefully you stopped the recording and you drew that. And now let's take a look and see if you got it right. Who's in the middle? Yeah, carbon. Okay, and hydrogens have to go along the outside. And we have four hydrogens. So we have four lines, one to each hydrogen. I hope you got it right. Now, let's look and see what are the valence electrons that we have based on the atoms that are in this structure. We have a carbon for how many? That's right, four. Four valence electrons because, that's right, because he is in column four of the periodic chart. Then we're going to have hydrogens and in the molecular structure over there, there are four, and so four times one is four, and for this molecule we have eight total electrons that are available for bonding. All right, are available to be in the molecule, not just for bonding, but total in the molecule. Now let's look at the, the methane here, the structure, the carbon in the middle, and let's see how many electrons we've used so far. Let's count the lines. One, two, three, four. As you go around your carbon, you should have four lines. Each of those represents how many electrons? Two, that's correct. Okay, so two times four is eight. And now we're going to have to subtract eight from the total that we had available. And that leaves a total of none. So you have just finished your Lewis structure. Isn't that great? All right. Let's go down to a clean slate, and let's look at the rules that I've been using. Number one, very, very important. All atoms must get eight electrons. Eight electrons when bonded in a molecule. Okay, let's continue now and summarize the rules that I've been using as I've been drawing these molecules for you. First, all atoms must get eight electrons when bonded in a molecule. What that means simply is that each atom must be touching or have around them eight electrons. Second big rule, total valence electrons from all atoms when added together must equal the number of electrons in the Lewis molecule. So, pretty simple rules, right? Now, let's look at the exceptions. There's only three of them, so it's not a big deal. First one, hydrogen needs exactly two electrons when bonded. No more, no less. Likewise, for beryllium, he only needs four. And likewise, for boron, he only needs six, and that is exactly six, exactly four, exactly two. No more, no less. Now you know how to draw Lewis structures. Thank you for watching.